everyone. So I recently made a new zine, which is very exciting. And when I was thinking about the cover for the zine, I wanted to do something new. I thought it would be so much fun to make a stamp. So that is what I did. And I had so much fun with the process of making a stamp that I thought it would be a good time to show you guys how to make a stamp. If you wanted to do this project, it's really fun. So that's what we're gonna do today. So up first, what you will need. You will need a piece of paper and a pencil. Not a pen, a pencil. You will need some of this stuff, which is literally just a sheet of rubber, but there are loads of different things you could carve into. If you go to your craft store, they have, like, there, I know there's a linoleum block. You could do this out of wood if you wanted to, or if you want to do a really non-temporary, like a very temporary one, um, non-permanent is what I meant, you could use a potato. <laughs> That's how versatile this project is. Then you're gonna need this tool. You could use a knife or scissors, but it, it just won't be as good. At the back, it has all of these little nibs that you attach and you use to carve with different uh, sizes. Up next, and this is optional, but nice, you can get a little door handle. So this literally costs like a dollar at the hardware store. And this is just if you want a nicer handle for the stamp. And finally, you're gonna need some ink pads. Now again, you could use paint, you could use a broken ballpoint pen if you want, but you're just gonna need some ink as something to use for stamp. The process is actually very simple and super fun and satisfying. So let's get into how to make a stamp. Step number one, use your paper and pencil to design what you would like to stamp. When you are happy with your design, go over it and over it and over it a million times with your pencil, basically creating a very thick layer of graphite. Up next, take what you're gonna carve, whether that's rubber, linoleum, wood, uh, potato, <laughs> and cut out the section that you want. So depending on how big your stamp is gonna be, it could be very small or it could be very large. Cut that out of this. Step number three is to put down your rubber, whatever size you cut it out to be, place it on a flat surface, and then Take your design that you've made and lay it on exactly where you want it to be. Take a little time to, with a nail, or you could use a coin or anything, to flatten over and over so that you're pushing that graphite design you made right onto the rubber. Just keep going. Just do that a bunch. When you lift the paper off the rubber, you will reveal your beautiful design on the carving block. Now what you will notice is that the design will be backwards. Don't worry, it has to be backwards. We need it to be backwards so that when we stamp down, it's not backwards. All right, up next is the most fun part of the whole entire activity. <laughs> and that is to use your little linoleum rubber cutter and to carve away at the rubber. When doing this, you have two options. You can either carve out your design or carve out everything around your design. Now, what I mean is this. As you can see on my uh, thing that I used for the title, I carved out everything around my design. What that makes is a stamp that will put just your shape down. However, if you want to do the opposite, and I actually, I can't believe I have both examples on this one stamp. At the bottom here, you can see a black bar. That is because I left that at surface level and only carved out the words. So I did the opposite of the top. And what that creates is a dark section around the white part of your stamp. So basically you're deciding, do you want to stamp a positive or a negative? And that, it, there's no wrong answer, it's just up to taste, up to what you're looking for in your stamp. So up next, you have to take that rubber that you just carved and use it. You're done carving it, you think, but not until you use it can you see which parts need to be carved a little deeper, what isn't working. Use your stamp, start stamping it on the paper and see how it looks. Inevitably, you're going to find sections that need to be carved a bit more, sections that you just need to change a little, just little things that need more carving. And so do that, get the carving done. And now you're done. You think, perfect, I got the stamp. Next thing I'll do, I'll just glue it onto my handle. No. <laughs> what you wanna do before you do that 
is to stamp onto your handle. This is going to be really helpful for two reasons. One, it's going to look really nice, but two, it's going to help you orient when you go to stamp. What you might want to do next is coat it. Um, that's what I did with this. I just coated it with some varnish. That's up to you. Um, once you do that, you can then go ahead and glue it to the bottom of your little handle. And just like that, voila, you have a stamp. Now the stamp that I just made right now is going to be for the envelopes that I send my, uh, my, my new zines off in. So if you order one of these zines, uh, I'm actually gonna use that stamp that I just designed the little heart to put on the envelope. So I'm really excited about that. So if you want one of these zines or one of my older zines, I've reprinted these, I've printed some new ones of these, and they are ready to send off. So I will leave a link down below to where you can find them. Down below, let me know, have you ever made a stamp? Do you want to make a stamp? What would you use a stamp for? And what would an awesome stamp design be? Hmm, lots of stamp questions. I didn't know I had so many stamp questions in my brain. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Okay, bye.